It's morning. Good morning. Why I feel like I'm so close? Like I'm kissing the damn sternum wheel. Steering wheel. Mm-hmm. Anywho, today is with Thursday. I'm supposed to be getting off at uh, 145 today. I'm perfectly okay with that. I uh, am. Um, I ain't got nothing too much to talk about, but I made my decision yesterday to leave Papa Smurf along. I told him there wasn't no, you know, text message thing. Well, it was, but it wasn't because I got emotional. And I guess that's the thing that people don't like about me, that I get really emotional. I get emotional because I'm like, okay, I'm trying to talk to you. I'm trying to tell you something. I don't want to do this, but it's like, okay, that's just, I got to that's just my little release process that I go through when I'm knowing that something got to take place that I don't want to happen. That's got to happen because it ain't going to get better. So it is 6.32 a.m. in the morning and the day is Thursday, which is Thrive Day, June 13th. Mm-mm-mm. I feel good. I ain't talking to Buddha no more. I ain't talking to Mandel no more. Well, that big clip. And yesterday, that ended the little cycle of Papa Smurf. So that's that. I ain't gonna say that me learning is officially over it's just that i'm on another level now that's all i'm on another level emotion emotional intelligence emotional intelligence enough to know when to do what is necessary at that moment of time. You know, I ain't got nothing to say. I ain't nothing cross my mind. I was just listening to something. But that sparked something in me when it was like talking about the frequency of scarcity or the frequency of gratitude, the frequency of abundance. That's why I say I felt like I had to do what I got to do when it comes to the vacation thing because that is me showing my appreciation. And I am really, really, you know, going to be receptive to ideas and things of that store. Not because I'm in scarcity mode, because I am in gratitude mode. I know that I can receive information in order to, to make my next best move. This is something that I know. So, when it comes to me being thankful, then that's that's how I'm showing my gratitude. That's just like this morning when I checked my mail, which I think it been like, what the day is? Two or three days since I checked my mail? I'm like, okay, what I got waiting on me? Nothing but a uh, credit card bill, that's all, which I know is due at the beginning of the month. That's okay. But, um... I was just sitting here thinking about how, I'm like, did I shift my reality to the point that I got my other self helping me out between worlds? That's what crossed my mind. I'm like, is that what's happening? Because I watch my bills, they go real low, and I'm like, okay, thank you. <laughs> I say that, like, I appreciate the help. But I, I be noticing things, and it's like, okay, well... In this thing, you know, I'm aware and I am becoming more <laughs> aware of things that I did not know. And I feel like that's why certain people can't be in my life because they would take advantage of me in the worst way, they would expose things that shouldn't be exposed. I would be taken away from. You know, the things that give me great pleasure and the things that expand my consciousness and the things that transform me to be a better me. So I don't need individuals to be in my life that does that to me. They all will potentially do that 
to me. <laughs> but this wasn't no, gonna be no quick video. I just said, let me pull out my phone because I did have those thoughts about the parallel reality and, and how I feel like myself is helping me out when it comes to certain things. And I know me and the kids are going to, to enjoy ourselves. So, it's nothing to worry about. You know, I was like, think about, okay, all this money I got to spend, and, da -da -da -da, and then I got bills. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Because whatever I need, it's going to be provided for. It's just the space that I'm in right now. And I'm aware of that. I am. You know, I get little signs and symbols about, you know, who's for me and who's not for me. Okay, you better get away from that person because it's going to get real ugly. And you know, we live a very peaceful life. You know, I ain't going to say it's perfect, but it's very peaceful. And if you continue to affiliate yourself with this person, your life is going to be in shambles to the point that you're going to think that, you know, the help that you were receiving has left. But it's not that it's, it is, it's gone is that you left it so whenever something happens it's because you're not paying attention this is why I feel like I had to pick up the phone to give me this message from the my other hey my other you know me what's for me is for me regardless regardless it's, it's for me and no one, nobody, no thing, any situation can take that away from me. That thing. And that's just what I stand on. That's what I know. I don't believe in it. Because I am observing. I am becoming more conscious of the many aspects of myself. And how to, you know, utilize each aspect at any given time. And with that said, I'm going to get ready to turn this off because I really needed this message this morning. Because, you know, I think about so much and I shouldn't be thinking about it because everything is really taken care of. You know, I ask my question and I just stay on the lookout for my answer however it's gonna show up i don't know i don't know how it's gonna show up but i know that i'm able to read you know codes when i need to read codes and with that said self-love is the best love and self-care is the best motherfucking there june 13 6 39 a.m in the morning Add it to the J.O.P. But yeah, I posted and couldn't this out. But I just thought about it. That's the, the, that was the, I was crying yesterday because I'm like, do you hear me? And then he was like, what, what you want me to do? Be crying? Be all in my emotions? What you want me to do? Right. I always say, you can tell when a person I ain't gonna say he heartless, but it's like they've been so traumatized that they put people through tests that ain't going to be able to be translated because they not good at interpreting what is before them. So why would you put a person through a test and your mind can't even conceive between illusions and what's true? So even if a person does pass the test, to you they're not passing the test because of what your mind is able to encode or interpret. <laughs> it's gonna always put you in a state of mind that everything is against you because that's how you trained your brain to filter out things to keep you protected. And if you don't know that, all you're doing is setting yourself up for failure because your brain ain't gonna tell you all the time uh, you know alert alert attack attack you know this is an imposter they trying to use you this and that and that that's why i always go back 
I go back and I'll be like, okay, is this really who they are or is it something else that I need to see that they want to show me? You have to stay consistent. You can't be like this day and that day. That's the thing about a person. Just like with anything, you're going to be consistent if it's something that you love or enjoy or want to get to know. Or that's just the way it is. You're going to be consistent. Or if not consistent, then you're going to have to, you're going to schedule something to make sure that it's a priority. You're going to do that as well. But the way we was moving is like, you know, options. I got other options. So I can't give you too much of my time because this is really not nothing that is important to me, but I'll give you some of my time because I do enjoy your company. But as far as it's us building and having a life together, that'll never happen. Are you delusional? Right. I, I see that. Because when something is important, you make time for it because this is something that's near and dear to your heart and you got to show this how much it means to you by prioritizing your time to spend time to love each other but you know yeah that's all I gotta say about that it is over, June 11th, 2024. No more. Not going back. Not. And you're going to have to work 20 times more. That's what I always say. A person who want me back in their house, a person who want me back in their life, they got to work. I, I was making it easy for them as I possibly could, but they wouldn't understand it. That's why I said about the interpretation, the filters. When you train your mind to do something, everything is going to be an attack, but everything ain't an attack. Sometimes or a lesson. Sometimes it looks like hate, but it really is love. It looks like fuckery, but it really is love. So, anyway, I know this person wouldn't understand it, but it's like, just like with Stephen, when he did what he did, I told him why I stopped fucking with him. I said, I thought you was controlling. It just, I just didn't like how things were when it came to you. I don't like how, you know, you walk in and, you know, you drinking all the time. You're on the block all the time. I, it's a lot of stuff I don't like, but that's, that's not my business. That's your prerogative. You can do what you want with your life, but I don't have to be around it. So I choose. It's just like with the next person. I'm about to come around with, I don't like that you, you know, whatever I do that a person don't like, I would take heat to that. But if I knew I had somebody in my life, it's a it's a lot of stuff that I'm doing now and I'm finna answer my own question that I would not be doing. If I was in a serious committed relationship, I wouldn't be doing that. Because it would be other things that I know we would have to take care of. Like as far as if we finna get a house together, if we finna get engaged, do I still gotta start, you know, looking for me a wedding dress, you know, what neighborhood we gonna stay in, what furniture I want in my house. It's so many things that I would be doing because I know this is my partner. We finna be yo. We finna live a loving life together. We really genuinely love each other. We we don't have time for the games. You know? And I would not be doing the things that I'm doing because my mind would be preoccupied with so much stuff that it's like, oh my gosh. I, you know, it's like I'm, I, I'm really living my dream world. And so I just answered my question. Like, okay, if you know that, then start behaving like that now. Start looking for dresses. Start looking for homes. Start looking for furniture. Right. Live like I am abundant. Live like I'm in love. Live like I am happy and at peace now. And it will appear. But I first have to become that individual that is already living that life. What would that individual, that character, talk like, dress like? What would she be doing right now? And with that said, I'm out, for real.